So I'm going to show you how to take a Mac eyeshadow that looks like this and turn it into this so that it fits into your eyeshadow palettes. So basically what we're going to be doing is taking this shadow pan out of the plastic and making it so that it will fit into the MAC Pro palettes. This is my blues, greens, and yellows palette. It's not full. The two that I'm depotting today are going to be fitting in there. You don't need a MAC Pro palette specifically to do this. Um, it doesn't have to be MAC. It can be any um, eyeshadow palette that is magnetic based. So it has to be able to hold your eyeshadows in magnetically because as you guys can see, these do not fall out of there. They're mag magnetically held in to these little holes. You can actually take this plastic out if you have more shadows and you don't want to just have 15 in there. It will actually hold a lot more, but I like to keep them nicely in their little holes. The reason people depot shadows is because you can use the plastic containers for back to Mac, so it kind of speeds things up a little bit faster and it takes up less space. As you can see, these aren't actually that big, um, but however, they do take up a lot of space in your cosmetics kits, um, wherever you store your makeup and stuff like that. They do take up a lot more room than a palette does. I don't actually buy the plastic ones anymore. However, some MAC shadows come limited edition and they're only available in this container here, which is like this one here. It's the color Haunting. It was going to be discontinued on the site, so I bought it in the goodbye section and it only came like this. It was not available in the Pro Palette form, which is basically, it's a lot cheaper when you buy from MAC just to get the shadows um, like this. I'm going to be depotting these two here and I'm going to show you how to do that. So the things that you're going to need in order to do this are, of course, your eyeshadows. So whichever eyeshadows you're going to be depotting, um, you're going to need those, of course. Um, then you're going to need your eyeshadow palette, whichever one that you plan on using. The most important thing that you're going to need is your straightening iron, because this is how we're going to get the eyeshadow out of the plastic. Mine is just a Conair Infinity. It's a few years old, so it's not the best. It's, I should probably be getting a new one soon, but um, it still works. It still heats up, so you're going to want to put this on the hottest heat. Um, that's going to help speed up the process. It's going to help melt the plastic a little bit faster, and I'm going to explain to you how we're going to do that and why we need to do that in a minute. Next thing that you're going to need is a small thin knife, and it's going to help get under the plastic. And then you're going to need magnet pieces. Um, these ones were cut from a sheet. I cut them into squares. You can get a magnet sheet from the dollar store, that's where I got mine. Um, and then I just took a pair of scissors and then rounded them off into circles so they'll fit on the bottom of your shadow. They don't have to be perfect, um, it doesn't really matter what they look like. They're going to be underneath the shadow helping it stick, so it doesn't have to be perfect. So as you guys can see, there's a, a dividing line right here, which is dividing this piece of plastic from the bottom. So what you want to do is take your knife and sort of jam it in to underneath there, and you're going to gently lift it up. And it should pop out like this. So you're going to separate these pieces. You're going to hold on to this. So I'll show you what we're going to do with this later. So you're going to take this piece of plastic with your shadow and you're going to place it onto your straightening iron. I'm just going to let it sit there for just under a minute. Now a good indicator when it's ready is when you see the sides of the plastic curving over. That's about time to take it off. You'll know that it's really hot and it's when it will be safe enough and hot enough that you can pull the pan shadow out. Um, the reason that we're heating this up is because underneath this shadow there is glue. So the heat is moving through the plastic and heating up that glue so that we can remove it. If you take this off too soon and you don't heat it up enough, um, something that can happen is... If you see the shadow here, the edge is kind of pushed in and the shadow actually cracked and I had to press it. Um, this was not hot enough and I went to try and remove it and so that's what happened. The pan is not perfectly round anymore and the shadow did crack. So you want to make sure that your shadow sits there long enough so that it is hot enough. It's better to wait too long than not long enough. Okay, so you can probably see now it's starting to wilt at the sides, so I'm going to remove it. Do this with your knife so that you don't get your hands burnt. So be very careful because the, the sides of this is going to be very hot. You're going to wet, you're going to hold it down just a little bit. You're going to wedge the knife under and start to lift up the shadow. Now there's lots of glue under there, so your knife's going to get a little bit messy, but you're going to lift it up like this. 
So as you can see, the knife stuck onto the glue. So as you can see, that's the glue that was all heated up there. So because this is really hot, we're just going to leave it for a little bit. Is You remember this piece here? We're going to save this sticker on the bottom. So that's got the name and all the information about the shadow and all that. So what we're going to do is we're going to place that on the straightening iron now. And we're going to let that sit for just under a minute. Before the glue could reharden, I just gently removed it very carefully to not burn my fingers from the knife and flipped it upside down. Um, we're going to now take this piece of plastic and this is all heated up. So there's glue underneath the sticker. We've now heated the glue. We're going to take our knife again, gently lift the sticker up. And so now that's stuck on there as well. Now what we're going to do is we're going to hold that on there. You're going to take your magnetic piece and remove the backing from it. The sticky side you want to be on the base of your shadow. You can clean the glue off if you want, but I find that it stick the magnet on a lot better with the glue from the magnet so the two glues together um, seal it. You're going to place that on there. So now we have our magnet. Now so that we know what the name of the shadow is, we're going to place this sticker on to the back of the magnet. So it's going to look like this. So now we know that this color is called Cool Heat. And don't worry if you think that the magnet isn't going to stick with the sticker piece on it. It's going to be fine. It'll fit right in there. And then you're going to be able to place it right in there. So as you can see, it's not falling out. It's absolutely upside down. You're okay. So what you're going to do with these pieces, you can open this up and this is, if you haven't melted it too much, it should fit right back in there like that. You can close it up and it can go back to Mac. If they try to tell you that this isn't applicable and it doesn't work for back to Mac, they're lying. It says Mac on it. It's the plastic. They don't recycle the metal anyways. That just goes in the garbage. So this is perfectly fine. What they want is the plastic. So if you have a bunch of eyeshadows sitting at home, six of these containers will get you a free lipstick or lip gloss. So now I'm going to finish with this one and just speed up the video so you guys can see it one more time hands-on without me talking and you guys will be able to just sort of see the steps as I do them. Those of you who haven't already bought a already depotted shadow without the plastic, this is what they look like when they come straight from MAC. So backings are obviously different. The back of the shadow doesn't really make much of a difference, so um, this is the depotted one from the plastic, and this is one that comes straight from MAC. Um, so two totally different colors, but um, exactly the same eyeshadow, so they'll fit in there perfectly. Sometimes I forget about them or leave them on too long and they melt a bit too much so they don't fit back into their containers so the lid won't close. Um, you just hold on to these pieces and you can take them to back to max still but uh oh. <laughs> 